Aloha and welcome to the Hawaiian paradise known as Oahu. As Hawaii's most visited island, this place has something for everyone. But for us, well, we are foodies. So our trip, we ventured all over the island to sample some amazing culinary treats. Join us for outstanding Hawaiian craft cocktails, grocery store staples, and even some perverted donuts. Yep, you heard that correctly. Welcome to the Oahu Food and Drink Tour. We flew to Oahu from Maui, which is only a 20 minute flight, but don't take a nap. The aerial water views are just too good to miss. We stayed in the Koalina area at Disney's Aulani Resort. This resort was spectacular, so be sure to check out our resort guide segment for more on the property. All great food tours should begin with a stop at the local grocery store, and the one near Alani was top notch. Okay, if you're staying in Alani and don't want to spend a whole lot of money, just walk right across the street where they have a market, the island country markets, where we just loaded up on some great looking food that we haven't had before. Charcuterie, we've had charcuterie before, not this kind. I got bubble teas, and we got a pizza stick, because why not? Who knows? This is what the Gypsy Guide was telling us about. So it's the musubi spam wrapped in the seaweed. And they have the red bean cakes that are like 20 Japanese pounds. Mocha. That are, yeah, in mochi. Japan. A malasada. <laughs> yeah, worth walking across the street. Get a little more for your money here. Oh, wait, wait. Doesn't look appetizing, but I hear it's good. It's something. Yeah, you don't look sure. I think the spam is colder than I was expecting. It's not awful. It's a solid six out of 10. Oh, that's a high score. Mm, that's good, it's good to me. Yeah, it's a seaweed, that's what it was. I wasn't mm -hmm. expecting the fishy taste. Yeah, we always like to try stuff, even if, you know, we may not even like it, but we like to go to the grocery store and get stuff we can't get at home. Pizza stick. I love pizza, and I like sticks. <laughs> yeah, you do. Mmm, is it good? It's a big pizza roll. Yeah. Tastes just like a big pizza roll. <laughs> That's not a complaint. Since it was a, just a quick pick-me-up, kind of like holdover before supper, we also had to get one more small little thing, which was another malasada. <laughs> That's the size of your boob. Yep. That's gonna be messy. <laughs> Looks good though. It's a bit messy. Okay, we actually are not down and dirty now for the first time. No, this is the first time we've actually gotten dressed. I know. Well. In fact, all these clothes I haven't used, but oh, yeah, we're super true. excited because the locals have recommended we walk across the street from Alani to go to Monkey Pods. Now, not only the locals, every YouTube video we've watched of anyone that stays in this Koalina area always recommends Monkey Pods. It's supposed to have the best Hawaiian Mai Tais. I'm going to get a virgin Mai Tai. Yeah, well, I'll take her alcohol on the not side. Not that I'm a virgin, obviously. <laughs> well, our first Oahu dining experience was at local favorite Monkey Pods Kitchen. This restaurant was founded by award-winning chef Peter Merriman. With only three locations in the islands, they are dedicated to mastering the craft of food, drink, and merriment. We can honestly say that Monkey Pods has succeeded in this goal. This was among the best craft cocktail bars we've ever been to. Trust us, it's a can't-miss restaurant. Go. We stand on the opposite shore. It's the greatest matcha I've ever had. It's tart. It's got a tartness to it, but you taste that, you really taste the dark rum. And the egg whites on top. Craft cocktail, baby. I love them. And they have craft mocktails, too. My holy hope. I look for the Wind Doves Cry, a mezcal, lime, and grapefruit cocktail. Michelle loves mezcal, so I'm drinking this one for her. She'll want my breath later. Thanks, babe. Oh my gosh. The grapefruit and mezcal together is unbelievable. Because you hit that grapefruit first, but then you get that smokiness of the mezcal. 
I may get drunk tonight. <laughs> Pesto is out of this world. And that pork is melt in your mouth. You're on a perfectly cooked crust. It's a perfect pizza. Oh, nice. What she said. <laughs> it's great, that pesto. I stand alone. Show me where the ending. It's a banana cocktail. There's like a banana flavor on top, and then just pure, good alcohol mixed in with it. <laughs> it's great. This is not the place you go to if you don't want to taste the alcohol. Like, these are great craft cocktails. You taste the alcohol, and then whatever flavors they mix in with it. It's amazing. Monkey Pods, one of the top cocktail bars I've ever had in my entire travel life. It was phenomenal. The food was phenomenal, yeah. but the, the cocktails were amazing. Mm -hmm. Great service. I absolutely loved it, which is why my wife bought me a shirt. 10 out Thank of 10 you. recommend. Gotta come here. <laughs> Aloha and good morning. So we are leaving our resort today because we want to see Oahu. Like mm -hmm. we love our resort, but we really want to get out and uh, make it down and dirty Hawaii Lord. again. Explore, find some beaches, find some great food, which is our thing. Um, we, there's a rental car shortage in Hawaii yeah. right now. Uh, due to COVID, a lot of the rental cars were shipped off the island, so rental cars are mega expensive. <laughs> we managed to find one car. This teeny tiny Hertz location in like a automotive shop. Yeah, it's not for <laughs> tourists, honestly. Like we were dropped off with people who were like waiting for their car to be fixed. But we got our little car and uh, now we're gonna go explore. And also just a little do a dose of reality, as we said before, not all travel is just perfect. Um, I actually forgot to uh, pack the medicine that I take or a certain amount of it. So we learned something that you can fill your prescription kind of a vacation supply, a vacation supply through your pharmacist. So they called it in. So we're here at the local Walgreens here in <laughs> Honolulu um, to, so that I could do that and keep taking my medicine, which is actually a pretty cool thing to know. Yeah, also be aware that the copay will be higher for your vacation supply. Yeah. But when you meet your deductible two or three years in a row, you know, yeah. such is life. Yeah, some people like to pay over $200 for souvenirs. I take pills. <laughs> so, all right. So not all travel is glamorous, but we're about to get to the glamorous and delicious side of travel. Yep, let's do it. Team positive. Team positive. Super excited for Perve Perverted Donuts. We refuse to go to any new city without trying the best local donuts it has to offer. So with that in mind, we drove to downtown Honolulu to try local fave Perve Donuts. Finding this small craft donut shop in the middle of a busy city was a bit like a scavenger hunt, but there were delicious rewards waiting for us. We have the Smurf Balls. We have the Sunburnt Halo. It's okay because it's your dog. The Unicorn Butt Sneeze. <laughs> they have, this is the Weekly D, which is a Rocky Road one. And then last but not least, we have the Aloha Mac. Go for it. Oh man. Oh, like melt in your mouth. Oh my gosh. That is. Is it fair to say dough can be tender? Mm -hmm. Because that, that really does melt in your mouth. And it's still warm. Mm. Oh, this feels like cereal bites on top with that glaze. But that glaze is not overpowering. It's not thick. Yes, I get it on my face. And I am an adult. I'm glad these are smaller so we can mm -hmm. eat a lot of them. We were getting hangry, so this yeah. one's needed. We were going to be aggressive and get 12, thankfully. <laughs> we pulled back. Thankfully, reason came through. <laughs> <laughs> 
a tantalizing donut indeed. Man, this was worth driving for 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, you're gonna love this. Mm -hmm. This tastes the way sunscreen smells. That's a compliment. Really? Coconut. You're gonna love this. It's PB and J on a donut. Okay. You're so right though. That tastes exactly tastes like sunscreen, sunscreen smells. smells. Like, like good sunscreen. Like 100%. Like if you're ever like putting on sunscreen, you're like, man, that smells so good. I swear to you, that's exactly what it tastes like. I found Purve because they have all these great perverted, unique names for donuts. And then I started following them on Instagram. They're a great follow. And their donut names are just hilarious. First up, success. Team positive. You got a nut on your face. This is love. <laughs> donut love. If you are a fan of Japanese food and culture, then don't miss Najiya Market. We're at a Japanese grocery store and we feel like we're back at Japan and we're so excited. I love the candy. Well, that took us right back to Japan. That was so cool. That was great. They had all the great things we ate when we were in Japan for, in 2019 and kind of really took us back. I wish we had more time in there. I know. Okay, so we just ate our Purvey Donuts mm -hmm. and now we just we drove. We are at Ala Moana Park, which is like a low key beach park area. And it's named after Moana. Or maybe Moana's named after it. Uh, yeah, I don't know the what background. What came first? Yeah, who knows. Uh, <laughs> but it's cool. We're just kind of like looking around and seeing what's near us and we've never been to this part of Hawaii. So let's go take a look. Here we go. This place is great. It's a great public beach. People are grilling out. I'm excited to jump in. The great yellow sun is reflecting in your deep blue eyes. The day has been not bad for just seeing what we could find nearby yeah <laughs> thanks google maps yeah not a bad place to eat two more purvey donuts ooh, ooh. fat asses on the beach y'all woo woo <laughs> we got the unicorn butt sneeze and then the orange one with the yummy hawaiian kind of sugar on it i can't forget the lily coin yeah something like that unicorn butt sneeze just sounds so lovely on a hot day <laughs> How's it feel, Michelle? Refreshing. I washed this donut off of my hand. Wow. I know I still have donut on my face, but that's fine. Oh my gosh, you do? <laughs> popped up out of nowhere like I don't know 20 feet away from us so we're trying to keep our eyes open see if we can see it again I can't see my toes anymore That is the closest we have ever seen sea turtles in the wild. I mean, they are literally swimming feet near us. Oh, that's amazing. Michelle! that we did all by ourselves. They love our donut smell. I love travel. <laughs> After seeing downtown Honolulu, we wanted to experience the North Shore vibes. We made the one hour drive north to Waimea Bay Beach Park, known for killer waves and professional surfers. All right, we made it to the North Shore. We did, we're in Waimea. Beach. Wailamea Beach. Wailamea Bay Beach. Oh, it's cold. 
Gotta be careful with the waves here. Yeah. Whoa. This may be the most treacherous pee in water we've had. Yeah. I'm backing up. I'm about to go for to get wet. Oh. Whoa. That is nuts. And this is not even high wave season. <laughs> what do you think, kid? This is crazy. <laughs> crazy, crazy. Worth the drive. Yes. I am not getting in that. I love the water and I love swimming, but that shit looks scary. So I'm gonna sit my fat ass up here on the top of the beach and watch other people. All right, gonna try some local bonsai bowls. A local told us that the absolute best acai bowls on the island were found at Bonsai Bowls, named after the North Shore's famous bonsai pipeline. And when a local gives you a food tip, you gotta take it. It's our very first acai bowl. Finally. Or as I call it, acai. Acai, we're gonna try it. That looks delicious and refreshing. It does. Try to get a little bit of everything. Oh my gosh, I smell the honey. <laughs> so refreshing, so fruity, so delicious. I love it. I guess I didn't realize it was a cold dish. Oh, really? But the granola with the honey, with the banana mixture. You're is a sucker for that anyways. I, am. <laughs> I love honey and banana. But oh my gosh, the acai. So we are in Hilawea, I believe. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that properly, but this place has like a cool ass vibe. It is very like laid back, like hipster. This, hipster. This is what I think of when I think of like Hawaii Island time. Like this place is amazing. We just went to a place called Bonsai Bowls, uh, which was awesome. It was our first acai bowl and it was everything we hoped for. Now I keep looking around because we're keeping our eyes open on a good place that we want to go and get something savory. So stay tuned, we're pretty excited. Our next culinary destination was Poke for the People, a restaurant that serves mouth-watering poke and sushi bowls that are also quite pleasing to the eyes. So we got our first poke bowl. We got spicy shrimp because of, you know, baby. Edamame, tomatoes, crab salad, half rice, half salad. Um, and we got some tempura flakes and some pickled ginger and pretty excited. <laughs> <laughs> I don't normally eat like a Neanderthal, but we're on a very strict time frame. Oh my gosh, that eel sauce on it. That is fresh shrimp. <laughs> I guess we were hungry. Elapsed time? Uh, approximately two and a half minutes. <laughs> Best poke I've ever had. Okay, so we had a limited time with our rental car <laughs> due to the rental car shortage. So we have to be back by 3.45. We negotiated because he did say 3.30. Even though they said they were open till five. Yep, that wasn't true. So we've been trying to fit in as much as we can. This is not our normal style to rush. No, However, we've had a hell of a good time. This though. was pretty fun <laughs> popping around. Just we tried to beach, waves were too big. <laughs> left tried food tried food walked around so it's been pretty fun it's so far it's been awesome we're going to continue driving and just see what speaks to us on the way because we're doing pretty good on time so. yeah we may have 18 minutes to spare <laughs> maybe <laughs> make them count <laughs> What a day. We're pooped. We fit a lot into today. We didn't have as much time as we would normally like to have to experience an island, but 
Hell, we did a lot of stuff today. We did. We went to the beach. We saw sea turtles. turtles. And then we went to another beach and almost got taken out by waves. Yeah. Then we went to the Japanese grocery store where we got this red bean cake, which is like two pounds. <laughs> yeah. It's like a good Japanese mochi cake. So I think the right way to end a day of trying new foods mm -hmm. and experiencing the island is to try this baby. Yeah, yeah. Feel <laughs> the texture of it. <laughs> it feels kind of like the powder so soft yeah these if you've never had one of these before it's very heavy like a paperweight but almost feels like what i imagine silicone boobs to feel yeah, like like an implant yeah and, which is not a complaint like it you know just feels it's very soft it's and, weird to eat an implant all right you want to try this yeah. i've never eaten an implant for the record i like the consistency It's exactly how I remember it tasting in Japan, which is like if you ate a rock that was covered in some type of growth, like little, <laughs> little algae. <laughs> and uh, if that rock was also filled with red bean paste, it tastes like that. Look at the texture of this bite. Eee! Ah. Well, I hope that was as appetizing to you as it was to me. I'm gonna go throw up now. <laughs> so I'll let you have that one, but I've enjoyed the things that we've done today. So, success? Yeah, team positive. <laughs> if you like the video, please like and subscribe. That like button really does help, and we look forward to bringing you more adventures on Michaela Goes West. Bye. Bye.